Hey, welcome to a new vlog. Uh, some quick channel updates for you. Uh, I noticed a comment yesterday that uh, one of uh, from uh, one of my viewers that the Defcon 19 videos will be made available later this week um, or, n or beginning next next week. So when they are available, I will try to make them uh, as soon as possible uh, online and accessible for you. Um, Let's see what else um, during this week. Uh, oh, it's, it's going to be a bit windy, so I hope you can hear it. But during this week, um, Symantec released um, some information about new malware that's been detected on PCS environments or ICS environments. Just depends on what uh, uh, what you think of the terms. Um, the malware that's uh, called they call it Duco. Uh, the malware uh, is used to collect information on uh, process control security systems. Um, it seems to have a keylogger in it that will try to um, uh, to record some keystrokes. Uh, also, it's it's uh, strange part is uh, some uh, the first analysis. Made by uh, Symantec, F Secure, uh, I think McAfee also uh, uh, seems to that seems that the um, source code of uh, of the Duco malware uh, resembles a bit like the Stuxnet code. Um, I thought Nico Hippona from F Secure already twittered uh, earlier this week that um, uh, he thought. The source code could be from the creators from Stuxnet because there are some uh, uh, things in the code that uh, are from uh, Stuxnet but can't be found online. So really interesting there. What uh, what uh, what's going to happen uh, in the next couple of days if all um, um, if all uh, analysis of of the different companies are done and if they could find more information who's behind it. And what's the purpose of this malware? Um, let's see. Uh, we'll put some uh, news uh, t uh, articles in the description below, which contain more information about this uh, Duco malware. Uh, earlier this week, I uh, contacted Adrian Crenshaw from Iron Geek. Great website. Uh, noticed he uh, had um, the DerbyCon videos online at his website, so I thought I contacted him to see if I can put them on my uh, YouTube channel for your viewers. Uh, he emailed me back to let me know that he uh, really prefers to have them on his own uh, YouTube channel. So that's no problem, I mean, uh, uh, copyright etc. He wants to have uh, his views, uh, revenue share, it's no problem for me. Um, we'll go to make a playlist. Uh, I think I will make one right here so you can click upon it. Uh, at least here in this area. So can't see myself right now so hope that was in the picture. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, and uh, going to record uh, lessons learned uh, uh, from the day 5 ICS training uh, later this week. So uh, when I'm go when I was the, in the U.S. Uh, on Friday when we had the lessons learned part and afterwards I needed to go back to the airport to get my plane to the Netherlands and so I uh, didn't have time to uh, make one uh, one vlog about the lessons learned. Uh, it's been a week after the training. Really got some interesting things to think about uh, after the lessons learned part. So we'll make. Uh, We'll make a vlog soon, uh, and, I all, uh, and I also will make uh, the vlog from day four. Uh, um, I will edit it this week, this weekend, so it will be online. I think uh, by this evening or tomorrow morning. So uh, that's the quick update. Hope you like this uh, what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's a bit windy again. I'm going to leave you with a nice view here in the Netherlands. Just uh, well. As you can see the sun is shining, but um, it's a bit cold, uh, so autumn is just starting, so uh, well, let's try to enjoy these days. We'll uh, see you back uh, again soon.